Hey guys, it's Tim Heron with Tim Heron Shooting. Today I wanted to talk just a little bit about the importance of building a good solid foundation with your support hand and the importance of fundamental grip pressures as they pertain to the presentation of the gun from the draw so that we can start to pick up the sights a little earlier, not have any kind of variance in the sight pictures on full presentation, which will allow us to begin to start to shoot sooner. Not only sooner, but it'll also allow us to be able to, if we tended to get a little greedy or a little too aggressive with the trigger, we've got the foundation behind us as far as the support on the gun as needed, so that if we start to get a pretty aggressive with the trigger, we're still able to hold the sight still on the gun and allow an accurate shot to happen, which in my opinion is by far and away the most important feature of a solid grip foundation on the gun. Not so much in the ability to mitigate recoil, but so much more in our ability to be able to hold the sight still as we manipulate the trigger straight to the rear. Or sometimes we manipulate the trigger too aggressively, maybe sometimes not so straight to the rear, but we'll still be able to have that keen ability being able to hold the sight still while that happens. So what I'm gonna do, so I've got a loaded magazine here. And we're gonna talk about how when I draw the firearm, my support hand goes to my body at the same time that my strong hand goes to the gun, right? These two move, move in one consecutive motion or one consistent motion. So you'll never see my support hand go to the gun and my or my strong hand go to the gun and my support hand just kind of out float in outer space out here in the middle ready to receive the gun. I want to bring my support hand to my body at the exact same time that my support hand or that my strong hand goes to the gun so that when the gun is lifted from the holster and rotated towards the target, the support hand all it has to do is meet the gun in one specific index point, in this case just underneath the trigger guard, and I begin to roll that grip together, and I roll and squeeze the grip pressures together. So as I'm just starting to put some forward pressure on the gun with the momentum of my strong or my strong hand as I'm presenting out to the target, my support hand is rolling into the gun and is pulling a little bit of rearward pressure against the back strap as well as then folding the hands together in the right spot so that as I squeeze or clamp the gun, I'm getting a really good squared up clamp, fingertips to palm all the way through the side panels of the gun, just fully secure the gun, fr back strap, front strap, and both side panels of the gun to allow me to then start shooting a little sooner. It's also gonna allow the sights to present the same way consistently every single time. So let me demonstrate. On a slow draw stroke, we go straight to the gun, support hand comes to the body. As the gun is lifted and rotated in the holster, support hand grip, and I fire a nice, easy shot called as I just as soon as I watch the sights then appear and present themselves to the center of the A's under the target, I'm ready to get on the trigger. So as I start to increase that speed just a little bit. shot. We're going to add just a little bit more speed. Hands move in unison. Together, build. Good. And one more time. Hands together, build the grip. And as I build the grip, you can see I'm not taking a whole lot of time prepping the trigger or prepping through the trigger, right? I'm not coming up to a wall, stopping and settling on the trigger and then pressing through. It's one continuous motion. The moment I began to, to see the sights and make that judgment call or make that, that good decision on, yes, I'm ready to fire because my foundation, my grip is really set into the gun so the gun can't move. It's one fluid motion as I'm just pressing all the way through the trigger. 